Good morning. Today we're here at Walmart. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, so as soon as we come into Walmart here, me and Jess have about four to 500 kids that we're going to have to take care of this year for Halloween. <laughs> we go over to her mom and dad's and uh, hand out a bunch. They get a lot of kids. Houses are real close together. Those type of neighborhoods that we always tried to find when we were young. They do have some pretty good deals here at Walmart. Of course, no shortages. Um, they've got 220 miniatures with Reese's Kit Kat, Milk Duds, 1954 for 222 or 220 pieces, 225 for 16.98. These are the smaller candies, but still feel like this is the best deal. So one thing I just noticed is Walmart has the Ohio cider. In here the Ohio Cider Company this is really good too I know we tried the Mayor's brand from uh, Sam's Club this is a good one family grown apples that they use here it is a little more expensive than the other one they had uh, the last one was a cheaper brand you could tell too because it was a lot thinner than this but six dollars and seventy four cents for this one and the Mayor's brand M-A-Y-E-R brand at Sam's Club was six ninety eight so about the same price not really a great deal on the five pounds of navel oranges here. Seven dollars and ninety-eight cents for five pounds. But one thing I wanted to point out is, look at this. Look at that. We've been getting a lot of comments uh, at Walmart lately uh, how a lot of the produce has been bad. So we we check we check everything we always buy. But right off the bat, like I wouldn't buy. Like how long have these been sitting here? Like I I don't know. I will say these Roma tomatoes look pretty good. They're $1.38 a pound, so it's pretty much what they are everywhere. But what we've noticed a lot, especially with Roma tomatoes as of late, they've looked terrible. We've seen where they've been really light pink colored, just don't look really good. And most, I, I would think that most people use Roma tomatoes to cook with. I mean, that's what we use them for. Otherwise, we would just get an heirloom or a beefsteak tomato. But um, yeah, I mean, these look pretty good. Might not be the best place to get pumpkins, guys. I don't know what happened here. These were $3.98 on a rollback offer. Some people were talking about that. Doesn't look like that rollback offer's available anymore. Look at these pumpkins, though. They look like they have straight melted. Like, I don't know what happened. These must have come from the Wicked Witch. I would not get these. So strawberries went up here. Um, they The last time I checked, they were $2.48. They are now $3.12. We've been seeing them go up in price everywhere. Two pounds, however, is $5.86. Um, these are $6.98 at Kroger, but I will say this. At Kroger's Driscoll's, um, pretty much when it comes to strawberries, I'll be honest with you, Driscoll's is pretty much all I would buy. These look absolutely terrible. <laughs> they just do not look good. Uh, they may look a little different on the video here, but they just, I don't know, they're kind of fuzzy looking. Ugh, no, no thanks. They do have a rollback here on some blueberries. They got these here for $2.28. I gotta say, this doesn't look too bad. Something that shouldn't be here, though. What the heck is that? What is up with Somebody that? Somebody put chicken back probably. $1.97 a pound. Yeah, I don't know. What were you saying? I said, does that contaminate everything by that sitting there? <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, at least they put it in a cool area. I don't know, though. I yeah. mean, it's raw chicken next to fresh I know, berries. I know, and it doesn't, that doesn't look good either. Look at these grapes too. Boy, I'll tell you what, they're not, I will say it's a uh, really good price, $1.68 a pound. These got up to $2.38 a pound there in the middle of summer. $1.68 a pound, you can find some good ones, but yeah, I don't know guys, I don't know what has happened here, but we, we have been getting a lot of comments that Walmart's produce has been very bad. This is probably the worst I've seen it in a while. All right, so I don't know, we may have to do like a little, more deeper dive into some of the vegetables that are coming into Meyer and Kroger and some other big grocery stores but this these peppers I mean they do not look good I mean that just I don't know it just looks looks bad I, there's no way I would ever pay a dollar forty for that actually I wouldn't buy that at all I don't I wouldn't even take it if they were doing it for free they look that bad I noticed they lowered their pineapples back down to 218. These went up to 228 there for a little while. Um, haven't gotten a lot of good comments on the Fife uh, pineapples here. They are the cheapest though, $2.18. 5.98 here for three pounds of the navel oranges. 
But see here, see that? This is suffering from the same whatever's going on with what we saw in the five pound bag. So obviously it's from the same batch, from the same company, but I don't know, these are halos, those don't belong here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Somebody was saying that their great value bread at your Walmart went up to $1.10. Still a dollar here, which is up from 92 cents, but it's been a dollar for a little while. Butternut bread. Somebody was asking about that, saying it's been harder and harder to get in and that your prices had gone up to $3. I'm assuming that you were talking about the sandwich bread here. 24 ounces. The 20 ounce uh, butternut large round bread here. Still $2.50. This is $3 at Kroger. Uh, $2.50 here, $3 at Kroger, so much better deal here. Uh, most people shop at Walmart know that if you're near the holidays, you definitely want to check out the center aisles leading up to everything. Uh, $1.26 for cream of soups here at Walmart. We've been seeing these for like $1.50 on sale everywhere, so not a bad deal on that. Uh, we've had some people, oh look, a couple bananas. Uh, $1.98 for the Ocean Spray Jelly Cranberry Sauce. We've had some comments on that. Uh, they do have the great value vegetable oil and a good amount of it, too. They know to put this out here. Everybody's been looking for it. $3.47. About the same as it is for all store brands. And they have uh, $3.83 for the gold metal flour, which is about regular price here at Walmart. Okay, I am done messing around. We have got the turkeys. The turkeys are in full swing here at Walmart. Dollar eighteen a pound, guys. Buy one. Get to Walmart. These are. We have been getting. Uh, we have had probably over a hundred comments of people telling us that Walmart has a rollback offer. Dollar eighteen a pound. Uh, today's the day, guys. Go and get one if you have the freezer space, uh, or if you have a friend. I would just get one because I don't think these are going to get any cheaper than this. And you know, when they're gone. We really don't know if there will be any more. There probably will, but with a deal like this, I would get it while you have the opportunity. And if you're not a Butterball fan, don't worry. They have plenty of the honeysuckle here, and these are even cheaper. 98 cents a pound. This turkey right here, $15.46. Guys, I'm telling you, get to Walmart. This is all over the country. We have gotten comments. When I, when I met uh, 100 comments, we have had comments from everywhere. Chime, people are chiming in from all over the country letting us know about this deal so i would check out walmart this week don't don't wait so i wanted to point this out in case you don't have a sam's club card they have 64 ounces of heinz ketchup here again i question the price five dollars and 98 cents though right so this is almost double what you get in that 38 ounce and it's it's about the same price 569 for the 38 ounce thing of heinz ketchup 598 here now um, you know, there's better ways you can save too. You can get the one at uh, Sam's Club, 114 ounces for $8.98. Um, and they do have these double ones here. What size is this? 50, 50 50.5 ounces, but you get two of them. So this is 101 ounces for $9.14. That is the best deal. They do have the 38 ounces here for $3.98. I don't know why Kroger's is so expensive, but. I don't know. Again, this is something I would definitely take a picture of. I hate this place. <laughs> it is pretty crazy. I had to like go through a maze just to get to the other side of the store. You had to what? Like take a maze just to get to the other side of the store. Oh, really? Because they're like standing in the aisles to check out. Oh, boy. Mm. Did you find the candy? Yeah. There's okay. tons over there. Yeah. I was telling people like a couple weeks ago, there's basically like they brought in a dump truck of candy. I also here. visited the Christmas stuff. I'm sure you did. Couldn't wait for me, could you? They got turkeys here. Oh, cool. The butter ball is a dollar eighteen a pound. What? It's a uh, dollar, or the honeysuckle is ninety eight cents a pound. That best good. best deal. Everybody needs to get to Walmart and get your turkeys. Been getting hundreds of comments on where to get. There's been the first thing's trying to find a turkey. Yeah. And now that we found it for less than a dollar seventy nine, yeah. Or you know, I wish we had the room. Yeah. We're about to call up some family members like, hey, we need to store a couple turkeys. We'll give you one. <laughs> one thing I wanted to point out real quick since we were in this aisle is we get a lot of comments on the Ben's Original Ready Rice here. $2.12 here at Walmart. So good deal. Uh, it has gone back up to $2.49 a bag at Kroger. And 
I'm noticing that they're getting a lot more variety here. They've got the cilantro lime, which somebody asked about. Somebody asked about the coconut jasmine. Um, I've been seeing this pretty much everywhere now. We have That hasn't been coming in. Um, but they got the fried rice. Uh, what was the other one? Cheddar. Cheddar broccoli. Um, yeah, so good variety here at Walmart and way cheaper. So I just wanted to kind of look at some of the rice options, dry rice and dry beans. We're always getting comments on these. Um, it's They're definitely selling it. They're definitely getting rid of the bigger bags. They do have the big great value bag of pinto beans here. 20 pounds for $15, $14.46. They got the smaller one, five, four pound there for $3.66. Um, they still have their long grain, one pound for 82 cents. I kind of question that because we've been seeing all these go up again anything question always take a picture take it up to the front um they've got the whole grain bins original here i think this is the four pounds uh no that is two pounds wow uh three dollars and 64 cents that seems a little pricey for walmart okay so i was checking out the olives here and i remembered somebody was asking about the mazetta olives they do have uh, a lot of variety here we haven't seen a lot of these olives around lately they are a little pricey but they do have them in. They got the jalapenos here too. Got the pitted Greek kalamata. Yeah, good to see these again. I, it's been a while since I've seen these. If you're looking for the Jiffy corn muffin mix, this might be the place to get it. 52 cents. 52 cents a box. Cheapest that we've seen anywhere is 65 cents. 65 cents is pretty much what it's been everywhere. They do have their Progresso Soups, $2.18, regular price. $2.50, regular price at Kroger. Same goes for the Chunky Soups. Wanted to point this out, a little end cap here. Uh, and they do have a lot of variety. We've been seeing less and less variety at like Kroger and Meyer. so Walmart might be the place for this. The spaghetti here, uh, Cremet has gone from $1.22 to $1.34, uh, $1.50 at Kroger. Um, and we see Barilla here went from $1.78 to $1.84. Uh, $1.99 now at Kroger for their spaghetti, so a little cheaper here. Uh, and great value has stayed at $0.92. Cents. And the two-pound box of spaghetti, $1.67, making about $0.80 cents a pound. And, you know, I mean, at least they're getting some in. They have condensed this spaghetti so much. Because you see we got the Velveeta cheese over here. Then we got the Rotel uh, diced tomatoes here, and that is it. This is the only dedicated section for spaghetti here, pasta at Walmart. So, you know, they keep condensing, but I understand. It's like if you can't fill it in, you know, you want it to look pretty. And since we got the Rotel in the camera there, <laughs> to show they do have it, $1.24 uh, a can. That's pretty much close to what it is everywhere. We have seen it go higher uh, we saw uh, three for five the other day. So, I mean, it is it is going up in price. $1.24 still here at Walmart. And they do have a lot of the hunts uh, for the same price. $1.24 down here, even for the honey ro or honey roasted, fire roasted uh, tomatoes here. Nice tomatoes, $1.24. So, same price as Rattel. That's awesome. So, the other day, we were going over the Hormel Completes meals. Been getting more and more comments on these lately. Uh they went up again they were 269 now they're pretty much 299 everywhere two dollars and 24 cents here at walmart that is up from two dollars and 14 cents 224 is a pretty good price on this cheapest we've seen it anywhere there was a lot of talk on the increase of the tuna creations i know we have a lot of people on the channel that apparently love tuna creations um dollar 44 here they keep going up but I will say they went up to $1.89 at Kroger, so keep that in mind. If you find a deal on this, I would just wait until there's a deal. These were a dollar. These were a dollar here on a rollback offer a couple weeks ago, but we saw that they were a dollar everywhere. They were on sale. Kroger's had them like 10 for 10 or something a few weeks ago, and but now they're all going up in price. So if you find that sale, I would buy them up. So I wanted to point out, somebody was asking about store brand tuna the other day when we were at Kroger. I didn't see any. Um, 80 cents a can here for the great value. We've gotten great comments on it. Aldi is probably the cheapest that I've seen at 77 cents a can of the Brookdale. And it's delicious. I love Brookdale products from Aldi, 77 cents a can. Um, yeah, and even the Starkist cans that people always ask about, the uh, regular size can, $1.14. 
$1.14. That is on sale for a dollar a can right now at Kroger. But when that sale's over, theirs are going up to a dollar twenty-nine. So when you find a sale, buy up a few. Also wanted to show they have the giant cams of the Bruce's Yams. Giant cans of the Bruce's Yams. Uh, these were hard to find last year. As a matter of fact, Walmart was one of the places, the only places we could find it. Two dollars and seventy-seven cents. We've seen these go from anywhere from three forty-nine to three ninety-nine now. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. We were getting tons of comments before Thanksgiving, mostly to see if we could find it anywhere. But if you want to save a little bit, that's the best deal I've seen. Jess loves Walmart. I really okay. I like Walmart. I don't like this Walmart. <laughs> And every single person that lives in our town is in this Walmart right yeah. now. Yeah, it is pretty insanity. packed. Yep. Crazy. Well, let's check out it's the sugar behind. It's hard to shop around because there's so many people. You can't move. I know. Yep. <clears throat> so, did want to point out they had some sugar. Uh, it's more than they had last time we were here. <laughs> this gave us downright... Oh, no, that's right. The last time we were at this Walmart... The other Walmart was low, but the last time we were here, they had the Leaning Tower of Sugar, where it was all, like, kind of falling over. Um... Let's see, four pounds here. They still don't have the prices out here. Yeah, now it's all coming back to me here. Oh wait, there they are, look at that. Ah, it's never been there before. Okay, 284 now. 284 for four pounds of Walmart sugar. 284, 289 at Kroger. Now sugar's been going up everywhere. I mean, to be fair, it's been going up all over the place. $6.12 for 10 pounds though. So if you're going to get that, you might as well get this, especially since they have it. I haven't seen the 10-pound bangs in a while. Uh, $6.12. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good deal. Also, we had somebody ask about the sugar in the raw here. They do have the big four-pound bag here for $7.84. They have the packets here, but I don't know. I would just, I would just get this. This is the better deal. Um, they have the two-pound box here that we saw at Kroger the other day for $4.99. 414 here so a little bit of a better deal this is the best deal though four pounds for seven dollars and 84 cents another thing too they do have the 10 pounds of the domino sugar back in eight dollars and 36 cents kind of question that price uh, again take a photo uh four dollars and 33 cents for the four pounds of domino here 449 at kroger 409 at meyer so meyer takes the cake on that one uh, and they do have the, I believe this is 20 pounds, 25 pounds, 25 pounds of the uh, Walmart sugar, great value sugar for $13.98. Now we saw the 25 pounds at Kroger, their smidge and spoon for $17.99. So that is a much better deal. Uh, they do have the great value flour for dirt cheap, <laughs> $2.24 for the five pound uh i mean yeah great and we've gotten good com we've gotten great valued comments <laughs> on the great value flour so and as we saw up front with the gold metal price of the five pound all-purpose flour here three dollars and 83 cents so that's just the regular price and they have some little ones here uh the gold metal 264 but for a dollar more you get five pounds this is only a pound i think no two pounds okay uh, and they do have the two pounds here with a great value for $1.16. Oh, and I just noticed up here they got the all-purpose King Arthur organic flour back in. We had some comments on this. Haven't seen this one in a little while. $7.33. And they have the King Arthur regular all-purpose flour for $4.48. That's a great price. Uh, the regular price did drop at Kroger, I believe. Who knows? It could change every day. It did drop to $5.99 regular price. It was $6.49. $4.48 here. And the Spice Wars continue. Uh, Walmart is definitely very low. I want to point out some of this pink Himalayan salt, which in my opinion is very expensive. I know a lot of people are talking about the one at Dollar Tree, uh, that it's very good and obviously way cheaper than this. But their spices, yeah, they're getting overrun here. Um, and they do have some. They have a lot of the organic ones. Don't sell a lot of these at Walmart because, you know, they're expensive. Um, but even some of their great value ones here are getting kind of expensive. $1.94, $1.94 for these. They do have some, like minced onion for a dollar, uh, cinnamon, dollar eighteen. But a big thing of it out there. I don't know if you've seen it. What is it? There's like a big good thing out in the middle. Does it say 98 cents? I don't know. I don't know. Because, yeah, it's, that's why I always say take a photo because... No, it says a dollar. Dollar, okay, so it went up. Because that big bin was 98 cents. Well, we'll take a look at it. 
Okay, so yeah, they changed it from 98 cents to a dollar, but it is a very select amount now. Uh, well, I do got Italian seasoning here. Um, for a dollar, I don't think bad. Glad they still have any of these for a dollar minced onion. Boy, they got more minced onion in this city than anything else. Uh, some parsley. Uh, let's see, got some chili powder here. Onion powder, okay. Yeah, well, a lot more different variety here in this than we saw on the shelf there. So we've been getting some comments asking about hams. This is the place to get hams. They have bagel with hams. I know, they do. And um, really, this is yeah. about the best we've seen. This one's $21. $21 cool for here. that? Sugardale, oh, too. No, $30. $30. Sorry, I can't read. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so some of these, two twenty four dollars a pound. This one here is These are 188. 188 a pound, okay. All right, I got the Superior's Tavern boneless ham there, 324 a pound for that one, but that's really good ham right there. Um, but yeah, this is Sugardale. I mean, Sugardale's a good brand, 224 a pound. I, don't, I honestly don't think it's gonna get much cheaper than that. Not till, not till close to Christmas. How much did you say those big bags of cheese were? The big ones used to be like five something. Yeah. They were five forty-eight, I believe. It's been a long time it's since it's been that. Uh, seven forty-eight now. So these two-pound things. I mean, seven dollars and forty-eight cents for two pounds is pretty good, because these are eight ounces. So if you look at it, you have to get two of these to be a pound, right? So that would be four forty-four plus two more so would be eight eighty-eight for two pounds if you bought it this way. Seven forty. So really, so you're saving like a dollar yeah, a dollar fifty almost. So yeah, it is a better deal. Yeah. I did want to quickly point out that even the great value butter has gone up to $4.48. The two packs, which isn't much of a better deal, $8.58 for the two pack. That's up from $7.98, and this is up from $3.98. So this butter, you know, I almost said cheese, but cheese seems like it's kind of stayed the same. We've seen it go up in some places. Still, uh, the cheese we were looking at over there was $2.22 for an eight pack. $7.48 for two pounds, so you're saving about $1.50 if you were to buy that many packs of the eight ounces compared to the bigger one, but $4.48, it's $5 regular price at Kroger for butter right now, but they have it on sale for $3.50, part of the buy five or more save a dollar each deal, $3.49, so you can save $1.50, you know, get there before Tuesday, November 1st at Kroger get it for 350 it's a good deal buy them up and freeze them okay well eggs are the highest they've ever been here at our walmart 60 count eggs 16 dollars and 22 cents at their highest peak that we'd ever seen them they were 14.55 we saw where they dropped down to 10.55 there for a little while now they're up to 16.22 for 60 eggs that is that's absolutely ridiculous and just for 12 eggs right here, $3.32. So three cents higher than Kroger. Kroger's is $3.29 right now. $3.32. I mean, eggs are just getting way too expensive. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Everyone have a happy Halloween. Happy Halloween! And, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. With all that being said, we are out. And always remember, the adventure is out there. Bye!